Hi guys, today we're going to do an epoxy tumbler using the marble style. I am going to be utilizing some alumni inks as well as glitter and a little bit of mica powder for the epoxy to make the marble. I already went ahead and added some alumni into this epoxy and what I'm going to do is use this as a base for my tumbler. This is going to help me cover the entire tumbler in a nice first layer of epoxy. So once I create the marble, it already has a, a nice base to work with. Of course, I already spray painted this bottle. So as you can see, I'm just spreading it with my fingers, making sure everything is completely covered even the bottom of the tumbler. Once I'm completed with that, I use a little bit of a heat gun to even out the epoxy and also to pop any bubbles that might come up to the surface. Okay, so now I am going to mix my other items. So let me just add a little bit of glitter into just a tiny bit of epoxy, not too much. So once it's all mixed, just put it down for now. We're going to use it later. I am now going to take my mica powder and add it to epoxy. This one is a uh, slightly pink or I want to say salmon type color. It's really nice. It's nice and shimmery. I just need to add a little bit more epoxy. So now all I have to do is just make sure it's nice and mixed. Once you see the color nice and solid, um, then you're ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the epoxy and just put it wherever I feel that I want the marble effect. So I kind of like string it along. Just pull it. I'm going to leave the middle empty because I'm going to place an image later in the middle. So just keep adding wherever you feel that you want your marble effect. I like to leave some space of white in between so the uh, epoxy actually moves nicely. If you want to push the movement of the marble just use a little bit of the heat gun to spread it so it can start moving. Okay, so now we're just gonna add the glitter. Again, just place it wherever you feel that you want to see the glitter. So I'm just adding it in between some of the, the color marble. I'm going to add it to the bottom and the top. So at this point, I feel like I need a little bit more color. So I just took some of the silver glitter and I'm going to also add that to the tumbler. So let me just mix that really quick. And now I'm just going to add in a few areas so we can see that beautiful shimmer color. Now 
Again, just place it wherever you feel you need it. As you can see, like the colors are blending in pretty nicely right now. Um, I'm probably going to add some white because it's kind of blending too much and I like to see some white in between. So I'm just taking the Illuminite white again and just adding it in order to separate the colors. And that's pretty much it. Once, uh, once I'm done adding these colors, then you let it um, turn overnight. It takes about usually six to eight hours for it to fully cure. And then the next day, all you have to do is place your, your image or your wording and then do another final coat of epoxy and, you're, and then you're complete. So I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, so I'm just going to let it run. Thanks for watching, everybody.